Hello and welcome to another week of Sambo I Racing. We're in the Mazda MX-5 with the fit setup at Alton Park International for another track guide this week. If uh, you've never actually had the opportunity to race the MX-5 around here, then you're in for a treat this week because it should allow for an awful lot of close racing. There's a lot of high-speed corners, there's a couple of technical bits, and it is just an absolute joy to drive. If you are new to the channel, what I do is I break the lap down from the cockpit, show you my driving uh, style, my markers, my uh, throttle control, stuff like that. Then we go to chase cam for a full speed run through, and then we are back in the cockpit one final time for a uh, full speed run through with the driving line on. So without further ado, let's jump into the cockpit and we can uh, start the lap. Right, let's get started. So as we cross the line, change up to fourth gear, and then what we're looking for is this Jordan bike sign on the left-hand side. As we get there, you'll see that I go up to about 60% braking. So I'm getting all of that done, still absolutely dead straight on the steering wheel. And then I start bleeding it off as I start to look towards the apex. I am actually giving it a blip of throttle there as I drop it down to third gear. You can cut this corner. You want to go over the muddy bit, but you don't want to hit the big bank of grass because that will fire you off. I'm building back up to 100% throttle at this stage. I'm going to exit out wide. Absolutely fine to be here. You'll see on the chase cam that my right wheels remain on the rumble strip. As long as you're still on the rumble strip, you're not going to get an X here. Up to fourth gear. Looking to get as close to the right hand side as possible. And then as we get into this dip that you can just see coming there, as you get into the dip, the weight's actually going to be on the tires and you're going to have suspension compression. And that allows us to start making the uh, brake and the uh, turn towards turn two here. So we get on the brakes, we drop it down to third gear. And as you can see, I'm just feeling for the grip. I had a little bit of oversteer, so I just had to. Uh, sort of steer down on the right hand side a little bit and I'm wanting to build up so that as I exit nice and early on the apex here I've got a hundred percent throttle nice and smooth exit up to fourth gear now what we're looking for here is as we get to this gravel road uh, on the right hand side and then we've got the grass as I exit from the grass bit there halfway across the uh, entry road on the right hand side. I'm going to do a lift down to about 30-40% briefly and then building that back up. You don't want to cut any further than I was there on the left hand side and now you're back at 100% throttle. Get it back over to the left hand side and now what we're looking for is as you can just see here there's this mud patch on the right hand side that's the braking marker in the MX-5. So as I get to the mud uh, patch I'm up to 100% braking in a straight line, as always. Now I'm boring you by saying the same thing. So we've got 100% brake on. As I start aiming towards the uh, apex, bleeding that off, still bleeding it off, and only at this point now do I get back up to 100% throttle in first gear. So I've dropped down from fourth to first there. We get nice and tight. We will still exit wide, up to second gear up to third gear, get over to the right hand side and then just as we get to this elbow or the uh, apex of this kink on the right hand side that's when I'm going to start steering towards the left and now uh, as I leave the uh, side of the road here I'm going to brake quite hard up to about 70% in third gear, dropping it down uh, slowly to second gear so if you can see I'm still holding the same 65% brake I have to do a little bit of steering into uh, any over, oversteer here. And then I'm in second gear. I've come off the brake. I'm building back up on the throttle so that as I exit without hitting the tire wall, I'm a 100% throttle. Cut that corner a little bit. Up to third gear. And now we're looking for the 50 meter board. So that's 200, 100. And just before I get to the two, uh, the 50, sorry, I'm going to break 100% in a straight line. I'm completely off the throttle. And as I start again moving towards the apex, I'm going to bleed that off, dropped it down to second gear. And now you're just looking to steer your way through as you 
trail break all the way through this first apex of the chicane. Now giving it a big blast of throttle in second gear. Steering it the whole way, so I'm back up to 100%. And then immediately I'm tapping the brakes just to get some weight into the front tires to get them turning. Doing a big lift in second gear. And then again, as I exit, back onto 100% throttle. Get over to the left-hand side. As you can see with the steering wheel here, it's the same as I do in all the cars at this stage. I'm trying to just uh, get the weight neutral again before I start doing a lift for turn 12, Nickerbrook. So I start turning towards it with 100% throttle. I then hold at about 80%, go over the corner, and then back up to 100%. And again, you're absolutely fine exiting wide here as long as your right-hand wheels are remaining on the track. Go up the hill. Up to fourth gear. Next braking marker on the right-hand side. You can see the end of the tyre wall. There's this green and uh, white sort of coloured square. That's my braking marker for the next corner. So as I go past that, I get up to what about 65% throttle and again it's only a quick blip of it down to third gear and I'm just letting the car settle once I feel all four wheels back on the car after just taking that corner I'm up to 100% throttle and it exit wide up to fourth gear and now the final braking zone is just after this turn right sign on the left just as after I've gone past that a couple of car lengths Final braking, up to about 95%, holding it there, letting all the speed wash off. I drop it down to second gear, and I'm just feeling for the throttle, finally come off the, uh, the brake in its entirety. Looking to really cut this final corner, and then just as we're going over the apex, I'm going to build back up on the throttle in second gear, so that as I exit the apex, I'm back on 100%. and then keep it as close to the left hand side as possible to shorten the track and over and across the line in a 151.617 so now we'll run through it from Chase Gamut full speed right here we go so looking for the John Bike sign on the throttle down to third gear cutting the corner exiting wide but not too wide over to the right hand side, up to fourth gear, into the dip, braking, down to third gear, cutting it, nice clean exit, can't exit any further right there. This road entry, we do a lift, back on it, now we're looking for the mud patch, 100% braking, down to first gear, nice trail brake there as you can see. Over to the right hand side, in third gear, trying to get your braking done in a straight line. Oh, that was tight. Over to the left, looking for the 50 meter marker just before that, again braking full, down to second gear, back on the gas, a little dab of brakes, back on the gas again. Loosen the car up here, and then we can do this cut. Final turn. And there we are crossing the line for 151.617. And we park up and have a sandwich. Uh, final time from the cockpit with the driving line on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 